Hey, Scott, um, what did you see as the root of the issue with the uh, three-point shooting tonight? Not making them. We're not making them. We're, we have to, we're, we're getting good looks. I mean, this team clogs the paint pretty well. That's what they do. Their philosophy, they, you get threes on them. And, and we shot nine for 34. We didn't make any of them. Uh, consistently, Garrison, luckily for us, Garrett, he's made, he made four of them out of our nine. We got we to gotta be able to knock some of those shots out. Uh, you, you, as you can see, the last handful of games, teams are clogging the paint. Um, I still believe in all of our guys. We can; those are shots that we've made, they've made in their entire career. We have to be able to step up and make some of those shots. Tonight, I mean, our our, our defense was pretty solid until we we gave them so many second chance points off offensive rebounds. We that first defensive possession, we made them miss a lot of shots. Probably would have been in the low low high thirties or low forties. But they got the second chance points, killed us 24 out of the 15 offense rebounds, and then not making shots did not help. And then um, late in the third quarter, what were you seeing there when the game kind of finally started to get away? You had a couple of turnovers, a couple of misses, but what were you, were you seeing that fatigue again from you guys? That's what you kind of mentioned earlier this week, or what were you looking at? Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, I really don't know. I just know that we turned it over and we missed some shots. And then we made some mistakes defensively where we we overhelped or they got an offensive rebound. Uh, they extended the lead. I think they went on like, a, I want to say, a, an 8 or a 9-0 run during that last two minutes of that third quarter. We got to be better. We got to, we got to, I mean, I, I don't know. We just got to, we got to take pride in uh, being, being, we got to be, take pride in, in, our, in our man. We got, we got too many times we get, we're getting beat. And offensive rebounds, uh, and then the turnovers hurt us in that in that, in that stretch. Fred, Scott, where where would you say Russell is at health wise right now? Um, getting better. I mean, is he a hundred percent? No, but a lot of guys. It's this time of the year, uh, but getting better. That's not. They have nothing to do with the game tonight. I thought he was attacking. Thought he was getting to the paint. Uh, didn't didn't make any of his spot up threes, and he's been pretty good with that since we've been back in these eleven or twelve games. Um, getting better. And uh, do you have any update on Ish? Um, we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Um, no update yet. Ben, I think it's his quad. His Sorry, quad, right. Yeah, his squad, I know that. Hi, Coach. After a 6-17 and 17 start and now multiple blowout losses in succession, how do you make sure that the coaching staff isn't losing its voice in the locker room? Um, we do our job every night. We do our job every night. I believe in our guys. We're going to continue to work, and we're going to continue to get better. We're going to continue to find ways that we can improve our team. Uh, we know we're in a tough stretch right now. We know we're not we're not playing the way we're going to play. Um, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about coaching our guys. We've got a great opportunity to to turn it around, stick together. That's the only way you can get out of this. Nothing's easy in this league. It's not, it's hard to get a win, um, and you got to fight for it. And we got to do a better job, myself included, or, or all of our coaches, our players. We all do. That's what we're about. We're about trying to get better every day and. It doesn't look good right now that we're not playing. We're not playing. We're not playing great. It was real choppy. We won a big game on the road and then we lost. We won another big game and then we lost. We came back and lost two games at home. Not what we wanted to do, but we're gonna we're gonna keep fighting. We got a tough uh, weekend ahead of us, but there's nothing like a, another opportunity to bounce back, and we have a couple of this weekend. Uh, Garrison, we asked Scott how he told you you were earning the start tonight, and uh, he said you had very little reaction. Um, what was going on inside your head during that conversation? Uh, I was just trying to stay locked in. I mean, you know, that's been, that's been a dream of mine, you know, as a kid. But, and again, I can't get, you know, there's one thing getting there, and there's one thing, you know, to, to not – I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. There's one thing to get there, and then there's one thing to just, you know, blow it. You know what I mean? And so in my mind, 
you know, I'm not going to get too high on myself because I got to stay locked in. I can't, you know, celebrate me starting my first one and then get get way ahead of myself and then play terrible. So, and it was a slow start for me for sure. Um, but, you know, I, I was just trying to stay locked in. So, because, you know, it's, I mean, it's, I, I, I pride myself on playing as hard as I can defensively. And this, I mean, everybody in the league can score. And so our, our, uh, our uh, coverage was to go under on Barrett. And I'm so used to blowing up screens and blowing up screens. So I was just trying to mentally just prepare myself to go under because I'm so used to blowing screens up. Um, there's been a lot of talk about pride, like you said, on defense and taking pride and guarding your man. Was that the message again tonight in the locker room afterwards? Or what did, uh, what did the coach staff have to say for you guys yeah you know there's there's uh we, we got to take more pride you know getting beat one-on-one -on -one, being in the right spots it's not it, it there, you're gonna get scored on one every now and then you know but it's it's how bad does it hurt getting scored one-on-one -on -one is the problem if it doesn't really hurt then something's going on you know and it's not even just getting beat one-on-one -on -one, it's being in the right spots on the help side it's it's taking a charge it's selling your body for the team it's you know all those things and hustling on defense. You know, we can't we can't just play offense. I mean, we're not even playing good offensively right now. We're not shooting it great, um, and that happens. But we cannot let that affect the defensive end. And you know, from from my viewpoint and from my experience, you know, defense is just a want to. Obviously, you got to know the coverages and be up to, up to date on that. But it is a want to. It's how hard you want to do it. It's how. If you want to play as hard as you can on a defensive end, you can get it done. I don't care who you are. I mean, if you're in the league, you, you can slide your feet and play as hard as you can. So it, it really comes down to a want to, you know. Thank you, Garrison. Fred. Hey, Garrison. What's up? Um, what has this year been like for you on a on a two-way contract? Do, do you feel like you have to have, have a different approach when you're in kind of the – the contract situation that can change even day to day that you're in? Um, and my, my, my role hadn't changed, you know, my role probably won't ever change. You know, I'm, I'm a strictly make open shots, try to make Brad and Russ's life a little bit easier um, by spacing the floor for him and then playing my ass off on the defensive end. And, you know, I try to stick to those two things. And if I stick to those two things, I'm going to be all right. Obviously there's, there's not, I can't shoot it great every night. That's going to happen. But if I play my ass off on defense, then, you know, I'm doing my job. Obviously, I can be in the right spots too, but you know, that's that's really my job. And it doesn't change, you know, whether I'm looking forward to the next contract or what. If I do my job to the best of my ability, then the rest will take care of itself. Neil. Hey Garrison, when you were on the bench in the third quarter and fourth quarter, it seemed like you and Brad were talking a little bit. Can you just take us into maybe what was Brad saying, some words of encouragement? Yeah, man. I mean, I don't want to get too deep into it we we're just you know having a personal conversation between me and him but you know it's it's tough man I was telling him that there's really nobody can say anything bad about Brad you know he is playing his heart out man he's actually about 35 a game um he's playing his heart out and I was just telling him man we gotta us role players gotta help him out a little bit you know like that's my that was what I was trying to say to him and obviously he had some encouragement and things to say to me but that was the what I was trying to let him know is that, you know, I, I respect him tremendously. You know, he has helped me become a, a, a better player than I ever, thought, I ever thought I could be because I watched that guy, I guard that guy in practice. You know, he's just a great leader and, and uh, I love learning from him. You know, he's a great guy and he's, he's, he's always been an encourager. He's always been a guy that, you know, gives you constructive criticism, doesn't cuss you out, doesn't say you need to be here, you need to, you know what I mean? He, he gives you constructive criticism. Um, and, and that's something that that improves a team. Doesn't hurt a team. It improves a team. Um, so I'm th I'm thankful I got a leader like that that I can play for, play with. And uh, you know, at some point, us role guys got to work our ass off a little bit more to make his life a little bit easier. I I I know you've kind of talked a little bit before about what it's like, um, kind of going in and out of the rotation from night to night. Can you take me take us through a little bit, kind of what your off days are like? Because you don't really have practices, you don't really have shoot arounds. So, so how are you kind of keeping a rhythm throughout that process when you're not actually playing games? Um, well, it depends. Uh, if I'm not like for me, I know for me personally, like if I'm not getting in a lot of minutes, usually my 
I, I tell myself and like I kind of talk to uh, David Atkins and I just my my practice days are my game days, you know, and that comes with being a professional and kind of knowing where you're at in the rotation and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's a part of the business. At the end of the day, I try to do my job of staying professional and just keep on working on getting better. Uh, I know I'm young and I got a lot to learn, so I just try to stay in the film rooms. Uh, I talk to our defensive coach a lot, just get a lot of film from him, even edits from, like I said, David Atkin, but just, just staying in the gym, that's really it. And just on those off days, you have to be in the gym because those are your game days, you know? Neil. Hey, Troy, obviously, you know, this is not where you guys want to be as a team. You guys have had to deal with a lot of adversity. Where would you say is the morale in the locker room right now? Um, I mean, it's tough. I mean, it definitely is tough. I don't think anybody is happy or, you know, we know our situation right now. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a long season and we get paid to be professionals and do our job. And um, at the end of the day, we have to come out and just keep on preparing and keep on getting better. Um, I mean, there's no point of going through all this if we're not going to learn from it and get better, you know. So we just got to stay, stay, keep our heads high and just keep on working. Kellen. Hey, Troy, I know Brad didn't play tonight, but can you talk about like just, you know, his season so far and what you've seen from him and what, you know, what makes him so good? <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like Brad has matured so much in his game and just everything he's, he's done uh, this season. Uh, I feel like his handle, uh, even the way he's reading ball screens this year, last year we watched like the first year of him kind of getting double teamed every game and stuff like that. So I feel like this year, he came in here with definitely a better mentality of just, you know, being a more efficient scorer. And I think he's done that this year. Um, even his assist, I think he's averaging like five assists a game. And I feel like he does everything on the court. Um, a lot of people give him credit for his scoring, but defensively, I feel like that Brad has the capabilities of, you know, locking up the best player and, you know, communicating and talking. So I feel like he does everything on the court and I'm proud to see him, you know, be the player he is this year and, you know, solidify that all-star vert this year. So. And what do you learn from him, like just from playing with him and watching him play? Um, I think the biggest thing I learned from Brad is just like the progressions that he makes. Um, just, you know, his first mindset is to be aggressive. And then from there, he's creating for his teammates, um, the unselfishness that he has, you know, especially knowing how much, you know, attention he brings when he has the basketball in his hands. Hey, Russ, um, the last time we talked to you, you said you felt like there was an effort issue on the court. Um, how did you judge that tonight? Uh, it was all right early on. Then, like I mentioned, spurred to the game where effort is very important. Um, and we got to take pride in, in defending and take pride in protecting our home court, just take individual pride. Since you obviously can't instill individual pride in somebody else, how do you as a leader kind of, how have you approached that in your career uh, before? Uh, I mean, I've tried multiple different ways, but it's obviously not working. So you got to try something else um, and figure it out. Uh, that's the best way. Um, one thing I'm not going to do is give up or give in to um, the record or anything else that's going on. Find ways to be able to keep fighting instilling some confidence somehow, some way um, to my teammates. So just got to go back to the drawing board and try to figure it out. Fred? Russell, the last five games or so, you, you guys as a team, the three-point shooting has, has really taken a dive. Why, why do you think that's happened? I don't know. I don't know. 